Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing very well. When you live for God, you have to be like Teflon. That word came to my mind, Teflon. So let's define it. Used to refer to someone able to withstand criticism or attack with no apparent effect. When you pray for something, I believe there are going to be many times when you will receive information that goes against what you are praying for. You may receive information that may make someone believe what you are praying for is not going to happen. What is that spray you spray on a frying pan or something to not have the food stick on the on the pan? In a sense, you have to be like that. Don't let what you see, what you hear, or what you feel stick unto you when it comes down to negative things that goes against your prayers. I guess I was referring to Pam. So Pam is a non-stick cooking spray that ensures your food does not stick to the pans or containers used in, in cooking. There are things I pray for. I like to use myself as an example. I believe many of the time when I pray for something, I believe I receive <laughs> so much evidence that my prayer will not be answered. I remember years ago, I prayed about something and I wanted something to happen in a particular way. Don't you know I received so much pushback? Don't you know I believe I received so many demonic dreams too? On top of those things, if I remember correctly, it took about two or more years for me to receive what I would pray for in a particular thing. Two or more years, imagine that. How can I say this? Learn to ignore what is going on in your face. Learn to not listen to anything that goes against your prayers. Because I believe for sure you will hear, you will see things that goes against what you are praying for. You may tell me, Uncle Kev, I hear what you are saying. But what if I receive information that makes a lot of sense? Let's say I am praying uh, to be healed or something. Let's say I hear that or I research that there is a 5% survival from a particular disease. Are you telling me, Uncle Kev, that I should ignore what I know, what I researched, what I heard, even though I received information that has been true for many, many, many people? I am telling you, yes. Just because it is true, it was true for some people. It doesn't have to be true for you. Just because other people don't have faith for this and that, 
doesn't mean that you have to be the same way too. If I grew up in a family that has, not saying this is the case for me, but if I grew up in a family that has a faith level in God at a level one, doesn't mean I have to stay at that level. Doesn't mean I should not advance. Think about that. Well, Uncle Kev, you know, um, I like to compare myself with others. I like to group myself with others. So if I see a group, you know, I want to fit in. I want to um, have the same type of thinking as they. You know, I don't want to be, in a sense, the odd one out. Well, in a way, that needs to change. This is one of the reasons why we need to have faith in what the Bible is saying and not so much about and not so much with what doctors say or google says or my friend or my mom or dad or cousin and this person and that person show me what the bible says let's go to john chapter 15 verse 7 if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, what? Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Did you see that scripture? It is telling me, from what I understand of it, if I go by the Bible, go by the rules, go by the rules of Jesus Christ, be obedient to him. Not to say that I am 100% perfect, but let's say I am striving for perfection and being obedient to God. I can ask what I will. Does that mean I should ask things out of greed? No. Don't be doing stuff out of greed. But I can ask for what I want. Like, does the Bible say there is a limit? Like, Uncle Kev, you can only ask for one pair of jeans and not five pair of jeans. It does not say that. Uncle Kev, you can only ask God for one car and not two cars. It does not say that. Kevin, um, you can ask for one haircut uh, a year and not a haircut every two weeks. It does not say that. It says what? Ye shall ask what you will. What do you want? Ask me. And it shall be done unto you. Did you see that? So as long as I am being obedient to God, as long as I am not being sinful in what I am praying for, I can ask for whatever I want and it shall be given unto me. So it doesn't matter what my mama say or what my daddy say or what uh, uh, Joey and Timmy and Sarah and... Uh, some other random names, uh, Bobby and, and Tommy and Tim and uh, uh, this person and that person. It does not matter what they are saying. What matters is what the Bible is saying. 
why are you holding so much faith in what people are saying and not what the Bible is saying? Now, if what they are saying goes along with the Bible, okay, fine. But if what they are saying is going against what the Bible says, who cares what they are saying? Don't even consider it. I really hope this is making sense. You have more faith in what your mom says than what God says. You have more faith in what your wife is saying than what the Bible says. This is not right. If you want success with God, go by his rules, go by his promises, go by what the Bible say. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. I know you gave me that scripture, Uncle Kev, but, you know, uh, my uncle or my cousin told me that what I am asking for, it's too much and God is not going to do it because, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you are poor, but uh, you already have enough and since you have enough, in living, you know, you should not ask God for anything. You need to get that person out of your face. You need to ignore that person. May God bless us.